What's going on, folks? It's your boy Kyle Lowe, aka Crazy J, aka Cal Patton. That's true. Saturday morning and we got some lumber yes I and get one of these picnic tables pounded out for one of my co-workers and then we'll get on to that pantry but I figured I'd uh, get it going here and saying the Arctic tundra has come for Texas uh, which means it's at least one degree below 60 and we are all freezing now I don't know how much New England besides the accent I got left because 60 comes around and I need to put a jacket on, some sleeves, pants, maybe the snow boots, a uh, couple beanies, you know, just just to make sure. <laughs> Anyways, uh, I'm gonna time lapse here uh, once I once I get the the lumber all out of the trailer and get the saw and all set up and. Uh, May, I, I'm kind of comfortable with these picnic tables, so maybe I'll, uh, maybe I'll do some measurement stuff. Nah, nah, we'll be all right. All right, hey, we'll see Got you guys my in a bit. Template, yeah. Can't read it because I don't read chicken scratch, and that's the only no way I know how to write. So before I get started, let me go over a couple things real quick. I made uh, nine two by four by sixes at seven foot. That's Five for the count, uh, the, the tabletop, and then two two by sixes for each bench. Now what I'm doing is I'm doing the, the cross braces on either side of the table that are going to hold the bench on either side. So those need to be virtually the only angle you really need to know here is is uh, 30 degrees, uh, whether that be just normal regular 30 degree cut or a bevel cut. Uh, it's all going to be 30 degrees. Just super easy. Uh, I ain't gonna lie, I found this table on the interwebs, and uh, the guy said it was, uh, build a picnic table in 15 minutes. Well, naturally with me, it takes me an hour to cook minute rice, so it should take a minute, but I, I mean, I built a bunch of these, so. But anyway, uh, I'm getting back at it. And just like that, I've made my first wrong cut of the day. Glorious. Well, we'll see you guys in a sec. Okay, folks, we're back here. I think I got all my cuts done. So let's uh, go over this materials list here real quick. All right, obviously, you need um, three-inch screws. I screw all my tables. Okay. Uh, don't nail them. They'll just come apart. Make sure you use good pressure treated wood so that way it's not warping and stuff on you. Okay? Alright, first things first, we're building a 7 foot table. So, I needed to cut 9 pieces at 7 foot for 5 for the top and then 2 for each bench. We have our cross members here. These bad boys were cut at 5 foot at a 30 degree angle. Those are going to be the, the cross members that hold the benches. These are your legs. Look at that. <whistles> Super nice. Uh, those were cut at 33 inches long to short um, at 30 degrees. And don't forget on your 
on your braces here that hold the benches long to long i always get these mixed up look long to short long to long okay 30 degrees make sure you cut them right or else you'll be like me cutting them 17 times okay don't do that all right these are going to be the braces in the middle of the table these are 28 i'm sorry 28 and a half here with a 30 degree bevel and then what happens is these 28 and a half cut at a 30 degree angle they go on top of that kind of make they kind of make a nail like that and then you put them in the middle of the table and we use them as braces so um there are also going to be two more braces that i need to cut at the end because sometimes the angles ain't right and i don't cut stuff perfect so um but for right now that's good i got my little jig set up what i'm going to do with this you put your legs you set them down in here one over there on the other end and then when you put your legs together you can put your cross member to kind of hold everything together Right now, I'm going to put you on the time lapse so I can show you exactly what I'm talking about. So, just give me a second and we'll get her running. Oh, I ain't got the best equipment yet and I ain't got no microphone. So, you're going to have to bear with me, blah, blah, bear with me here this morning. Uh, I'm going to start assembling these legs because this guy thinks he's getting his table by noon. So, I need to get cracking. As much as I want to bring you guys along, I'll put a description if you guys are interested in any of the dimensions like besides the the stupid part of this stuff if you actually want to build this picnic table um just let me know i'll uh, i can send you the dimensions or i'll maybe i'll put them down in the comments or something but i gotta get rock and rolling on this so you're gonna just watch me put this together and literally if you have any questions i can do my best to answer them. <laughs> uh but i i do a lot of this from memory as far as the tables but it's always nice to have a little template uh with all your cuts and your, your angles and stuff like that so um, I'm gonna get cracking on this though, guys. See you here in a bit. What is it gonna look like when it's on the jig? What I've done is I've come 16 and a half up off the jig up on either side. That's gonna be the height. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go about 13. 13 in here from the edge uh, close to it and that should get us to where we want to be. Alright, next we're going to put on the Next, we're going to put on uh, the top where the table sits on and, and connects to. So, take this one with the 30 degree bevel, slap her on top of that, and then we'll mount her up to the top. Now, this is what she should. She should look like here. And let me stop it and bring you in. Okay. So now, what happens with this one is it sits just like that. Look how flush and nice it is. Oh, hey, how about I get you on over here? Yeah, buddy. Okay. So this kind of goes up here like this. Yeah, you see it now? We'll center this. We'll center this up nice right there. And... Boy, she almost looks like she might be a picnic table, but yes, sir. Uh, all right, hey, I'm gonna get these. I'm gonna get the other side assembled real quick, and then uh, I'll be right with you guys. All right, folks, <whistles> got them both built up, looking pretty decent. Now, this particular customer doesn't want uh, any stain on this right now, which is fine because. This I didn't know until just recently, but if it's super treated like these are, this is all ground contact rated wood. Uh, you want to let it sit and dry out a little bit before you stain it because 
right now it's got so much of that chemical from the stain that's not going to soak uh, our uh from the sorry from the treatment that's not going to soak up the stain like it should so i got them built up now what we're going to do is we're going to lay out uh we're going to lay out the tabletop and then what we do is we measure seven inches in from each end bam bam and then uh she's gonna start looking like a picnic table bud Just a quick note, when you're doing your, your tabletop, you obviously want to space it out evenly. About the width, one of them Home Depot pencils works pretty good. That way they have room to move and warp and do whatever with the freezing and the warming and all that stuff. So, back to it. Alright, I'm going to put them legs on here and... Again, I came in, oh, I guess I'll bring you down here with me. I came in seven inches off the edge here. Okay, just come in seven inches and just do just do this board and that board. These ones will float around until you get it all right anyway. So we'll come in seven inches, then start your legs. That gives about enough room for three adults on a seven foot table to sit on one side. No problem. So, just pitch it, get you back to it. Hey, oh. Yes, sir. Now for this next part, I got to build that center brace and then the two braces going off to the uh, legs and then I can put our benches on. We get that done and then I'll bring you back. All right, guys, here we are. I got that middle brace in. Now all we got to do is make our braces that go from the middle up there to the legs. Flip her over. Put our benches on and we got ourselves a little picnic table by. I'm bringing you guys back when I get them braces right, guys, in. braces are on. Yes, uh, I wish I could give you guys exact measurements, but I do this thing called measure once, cut about 1,587 times. So that's how those get like that. I can't give you exact measurements, but the gaps are minimal. And them boys is actually pretty friggin' straight rubber. I'll take it. See y'all here when I get the benches. All right, folks. We're just about there. I'm going to screw down these benches and take you guys for a little walkthrough. There she is, bud. There. There she is. Yes, uh. Lumber was about 115 bucks. All pressure treated. I started the first cut this morning at about 8.30. And it is now 10. 25 so you can do it normally i'd put better wood here for the benches and and whatnot but i just wanted to get this one done the guys i'm giving them a super deal he just moved to texas <laughs> guy just moved to texas so i'm trying to help him out a little bit so but here she is i think she came out pretty decent Folks, there she is, all loaded up for our next destination. 
She's nice, but you know the rules. We don't get too close. Alrighty, we'll see you in a bit. Hey guys, alright, that's gonna wrap it up on the picnic table here. I'm gonna get it loaded up. I think the guy may want it, so uh like I said, I'm gonna I'm gonna leave all the dimensions and cots and everything I think in the comments. Uh so that way you guys can have it. Um also I, I just looked on I just looked on Google guys and put in build a picnic table and the, the one that came up is like build a picnic table in 15 minutes. The guy uses a pace load nail gun and probably been doing it for years and years so he can he gets it done pretty quick. Um he has another video of uh him making the jig. So if that's something you want to make the legs perfect every time, um you just look it up. I don't know what the link is. I probably am not going to share that, but um as far as this guy, <laughs> she's done. Quick a quick project. So, um let me do some editing, get this video out. Um, I think maybe I'll wait because I don't want to throw all my videos out at the same time. That's kind of dumb, right? So, anyway, let me uh, let me get this cracking and then we'll talk to you later. And if you're in the uh, Franklin neighborhood, New Hampshire neighborhood, my dad, the old man, the fucking general, he's he's pounding out some picnic tables too. His Mine are like the Walmart. His are like Bob Vila. Okay? He rounds the corners. He's sanding. Lag bolts. You name it. And you want to talk about the price is right. The price is right. He ain't going to beat you up. Yeah. He's honest to a fault. He'll tell you how many hours he's got in it and how much money he's got in it and what grit sandpaper you use. He'll do the whole line. Okay? But you're going to get a quality, all weather treated uh, picnic table. If that's what you're in the market for. Uh... I'm not going to put his contact information down or anything, but if you're going down Road 3, leaving Franklin, heading towards Bosquin, I bet you'll see one or two. He's out there working on them, probably. Well, if it's decent now, he might be out there working on them right now. So, anyways, I think this is going to conclude the uh, picnic table video. Um, guys, like I said, I'll, I'll put stuff in the comments here, and, and uh, if you have any questions, man, go ahead and uh, give me a holler. Pat and Builds, another one in the books. Peace.